All right, so this first part of the video will give you some hints on getting started with your RPA bot. There'll be a second video on building the workflow. So let's get started. So you've already should have downloaded the data from eLearning as in the directions, as the direction said. I have mine under this class under a folder called RPA case. So we have two files. We have the data file. And this just contains three lines of data. You should have already changed the supplier name uh, by putting in your names for group member one and two. You can also add another line if you have three members. So while you're testing, uh, you may want to put in an email address of one of your group members uh, by doing that. That way it will go ahead and send to the group. Uh, somebody in the group and then when you're running it for good go ahead and change it back to my email address so what we're going to do is for each line of this data so if send out either three or four pdfs uh, it's going to generate a pdf based on this template and notice here their supplier name and amount those are the headings of the uh, in the columns of the Excel file, we're going to actually replace those. I kept this template real simple. You would normally want to make it a lot nicer, headings and stuff. And then you do want to add your team members here. So we're setting up that template and just preparing the names. What you also want to do is set up another subfolder. I use just called mine working folder because uh, the bot is going to do its work there. All right, so this is Studio. Make sure it says Studio X here. If it does not, you need to go to Settings, License and Profile, and this last option here, and select Studio X. This is for um, being able to automate and you run it on your own desktop rather than unattended or more complex uh, items. So we're going to keep it pretty simple in this class. All right, so once you've done that, go back to start and you should be here. If you didn't need to change your settings, you're already here. So we're gonna start a blank task. And I'm going to call this invoice confirmations. All right, we're gonna stop this setup video here and we'll have another one of how to actually build the workflow.